By now, you know that corporate endpoints are a common target for hackers. Malicious actors try to gain access to corporate devices in order to steal or encrypt the stored data or perform other actions that can be harmful to a company, its customers, and its employees. As remote work becomes more common, endpoint security is more crucial than ever. The perimeter-based defenses of an organization may not always protect the computers of remote workers, making them more vulnerable to threats such as ransomware, phishing, malware, and fileless attacks, or credential theft. The good news is that a well-planned strategy can help a company protect its endpoints. Hi, it's Antonia from Heimdall, and in today's video, I will talk about some of the best practices for endpoint security that every organization should follow. 1. User training. A recent study shows that 90% of data bridges result from human error. The issue is worsened by endpoint devices which are vulnerable to being compromised, misplaced, or stolen. Because employees are in charge of the computers and mobile devices they use to do their job, it's safe to say that your enterprise network's safety and security depend on them too. So it goes without saying that proper endpoint protection starts with educating the users of those endpoints that access your network and data. You can have the safest and most secure IT and endpoint environment possible. However, if a user downloads an attachment or clicks on a link in a phishing email, it could grant cybercriminals access to your company's systems and data. It is critical that your organization provides security and compliance training to users on a regular basis and confirms that they completed successfully. All connected devices should be monitored. You need to be aware of and able to track and monitor all the devices connecting to your network regardless of platform, operating system, or location. This covers both employee-owned devices such as laptops, tablets, and phones used as part of your bring your own device practice as well as company-owned computers, printers, or IoT devices. I know that if you don't have a unified endpoint management system in place, dealing with several desperate management systems will be challenging, but this level of control and visibility is crucial to ensuring your endpoint's safety. Keep operating systems and software up to date. Once you have visibility into every device that connects to your network, you have to determine which endpoints need patches and updates for the operating systems, programs, and security software they already have installed or need to have installed. Implement Zero Trust. The Zero Trust security model, which runs on the belief that one should never trust and always verify, requires all users, whether inside or outside an organization's network, to first be authenticated and authorized before they can access any systems or data. We will address the Zero Trust endpoint security topic next week, so make sure you don't miss it. Enforce application control. Application control is an information security practice that consists of restricting the execution of unauthorized applications by adopting whitelisting and blacklisting strategies. The technology behind it helps recognize and allow only non-malicious files to enter an enterprise network and its endpoints. Its purpose is to secure the data that is used by or sent between applications in a system. Identify and fix vulnerabilities. You need to find any software versions, settings, or device configurations that could leave your system vulnerable. Carry out regular IT security audits using the Open Vulnerability Assessment language to scan all operating systems. This will allow you to detect and address vulnerabilities in your environment. Remediate missing and compromised devices as soon as possible. As I said before, you have to track and monitor your traditional and mobile devices all the time. Remotely lock, wipe or factory reset a mobile device or its password if it goes missing in order to prevent corporate data from being accessed, compromised, or stolen. Keep endpoints encrypted. In addition to passwords, add another layer of protection. Secure the disk or memory of the device with encryption so that it remains inaccessible even if the device gets lost or transferred to another unit. These actions offer a sound baseline for end-user device posture 
posture and basic cyber hygiene. However, even after implementing the endpoint security best practices I talked about today, IT departments must always have in mind today's ever-changing landscape and remain as vigilant as possible. Thanks for watching. As usual, don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to Heimdall's YouTube channel. And see you next week.